I suspected something all along. But when I pressed you, you tried to reassure me all was well. And I was in denial. I prayed it was not so. Answer me. Is this Aswell's doing? I know not. But he told me that I was cursed the moment the Azure Knight wounded me. A dark power seethes deep down inside me, making me crave flesh and blood. If I lose control, it will consume me. Without your power, we would have been done for. Some within the organization would recognize the value in having someone with the power of the enemy. However, to me, your power is that of the Cursed Sword. The organization must not allow it. But with this power, we could eradicate more outsiders than ever. You truly believe you can remain in the organization? It is the most efficient means of exterminating outsiders. No question. I see. In that case, you leave me no choice. Have at you! This place shall be your grave! Why do you not kill me? I never intended to do such a thing. Do you really expect me to accept you in that power? It would be a betrayal of our organization. I know. Once all outsiders are eliminated, I shall end my life to pay for my sins. That is why I need you to watch over me. <sighs> I should have expected as much from someone so unlucky. Your troubles know no bounds. Very well, you win. However, we are both betraying the organization now. When you pay for your sins, I shall too. You need not accompany me. Enough. Now, about that fragment of the Wicked Sword, you... A throwing knife? Who did this? Tut tut grow. All witnesses must be disposed of. Even if that witness is an old friend alongside whom you have fought so gallantly. As well! I shall be taking this fragment. Neither of you know its value. Damn you! <laughs> See this fragment? This is how you use it! What? what are you doing, Curtis? Let us see what happens when a fragment of the Cursed Sword is embedded within an able, ranking member of the Aval Organization! Such an intellectually stimulating subject, don't you think? I will not allow this! 
Huh? As a researcher, I couldn't possibly stand a chance against one from the punitive force. Or so you thought. However, by harnessing the energy from the cursed and spirit swords fitted into this glove, I am able to battle you both! Incidentally, it was I who manipulated the resonating wave energy to create that throwing blade. No! How could this be, Curtis? The corruption has begun. The stage is set for more of your sublime drama. Now, my dear Gro, what will you do? Your beloved friend is turning into a loathsome outsider. Gro! Hesitate not! Damn you! from this madness! He has utterly succumbed to the beast within. Such a shame he'll not be joining us. Curtis, get a hold of yourself! You're on your own. Don't you worry. All will be fine. All will be fine? <laughs> you really are a simple man, Gro. Thank you for all you have done for me. I shall take care of the rest. Yes, I believe you can. Oh, dear me. Another precious life lost. But a monster that has lost all reason has no worth! <sighs> oh my, what a wonderful expression! The struggle between sorrow and hatred is simply sublime! Now, let that sorrow and hatred fill your heart! Come at me! I shall... Kill you! Yeah! <laughs> 
Miscalculation. Fight. Wonderful! Though driven by hatred and sorrow, you could resist your destructive impulses. Such a magnificent sight to see. However, I am spent. I could not possibly take any more of this drama. A serious wound would spoil the fun of leaving the organization. What do you mean, the fun? Pursue me. Allow the desire for revenge to permeate your being, but do not lose your senses. I have been moved by your story, and shall never forget it. An earthquake? No, this must be... This place will soon be reduced to rubble. Perhaps we will meet again, should you live. I would like that. Farewell! Wait! Damn these infernal fiends! Gro managed to escape from the crumbling temple, but his friend's corpse was lost in the rubble, never to be found. Gro returned to the organization to report everything that had transpired with Aswell. Waiting for him was the news of Orzel's death upon Aswell's defection, as well as a new mission. Aswell had double-crossed the organization in the hope of unleashing the evil seed again to save humanity. Or so he claimed. Gro's new mission was to kill the outsider Aswell before that could happen. I shall never forgive you. Your intentions matter not. You took my friend from me. Mark my words. You shall pay. The names of the warriors whose fates were bound to the two swords have been etched into the very fibers of history. <laughs>